Hey Google, studio on. A lot of people underestimate the power of simplicity. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can turn the most basic chord progression of G, C, and D into six completely different styles of music with just a few minor tweaks. I'm gonna give you tips and techniques so that you can apply this to your own playing and turn the chords you already know into something sounding beautiful. So to start this one off, we're gonna be starting with an older folky country kind of rhythm. And basically what we're doing here is alternating the bass note with the thumb and then the high strings with our other fingers. Then on top of that, I'm adding an alternating bass, which is switching between different bass notes. Throw that in with the fingers. And then to transition into the C, I'm gonna do a little bit of walking bass, which is just a little bass run on the A string here to transition to that next chord and then do the same kind of melody. One thing you'll notice is I'm keeping these two fingers on as I switch from the G to the C. Technically that makes this a C add nine, but whatever. It makes the chord change easier, so we're gonna stick with it. Once you've done the exact same thing on the C as the G, another little bass run to transition into the D. And got that little bit of a rhythmic switch up there to keep it fresh and interesting. And then all you ought to do to switch into the next part is add in one of these. And you're into the next part. After that little lick, we're gonna transition into what I call the chorus. And I tried to give this one a more modern country feel. And to do this, we're gonna use fuller sounding chords. And I like to use a pick to make the sound a little more powerful. And then all I'm gonna do for this one is some big full strums with some accented notes to make it feel like I'm in the middle of the field on my truck enjoying the summer. The only other thing I'm doing there is adding on this pinky on the D chord just to change things up a little bit. And that's all there is to it. One sec. So this one I'm going for a Maroon 5 kind of vibe because that's what it reminds me the most of. This is just a really simple one and, two and, three and, four and strumming pattern, mostly palm muted, which is a really common pop technique. And then you're just gonna throw in some accents where it feels right. So that's kind of the core rhythm there. I'm just switching between the three chords. And then the only other thing I'm doing is adding in a little bit of a transition between the chords just to keep it spicy. 
and then I'm going to keep those instrumentals nice and light so that I can let the melody take main stage and I'm just doing this by playing a looper over top of what I just played. Pop melodies are a lot like a guitar solo except they're usually simpler and more repetitive to keep it catchy. Alright, we're switching to rock now. Time to grab the good old electric. Maybe another day. For rock, we're gonna trade in our standard chords for power chords. Now all you're gonna do here is find your root note and grab your power chord shape. That's a G, there's your C, and there's your D. We're gonna do some big powerful chords and then add in some cool little licks to make it a little more interesting. And that's what we got. If you want to try this at home, all I'm doing is playing the chord and then playing a little lick on a D minor scale. And if you want to use my licks, you can get the tabs and all other resources in this video by subscribing to my Patreon in the link in the description below this video. Here we're really emphasizing that downbeat on the one to give it the really powerful, big emotional vibe there. And then the other big thing here on this one is these two notes in particular, the third fret on the B and the E string. Those really add a bright sound to all your chords, so we're just gonna add them into G, C, and D. To give that really bright sound. And then when we switch to the slow part, just to change it up, make it a little bit more emotional and impactful, we're playing the same chords, just higher down on the fretboard. And we're doing nice, slow, nice, slow held out rhythm. And then when you get to that last chord, the D, we're just gonna build that up to build up to the rise. Where we go back to that first part, and that's where everyone comes together. To make it bluesy, all we're gonna do is trade in these normal chords for seventh chords. G7, C7, and D7. And then I'm doing a C, alternating to a C7 on every other beat on that C chord there. Then for our strumming pattern, all we're doing is a down, up, down, up, down, up, down. That's all there is to it. We're gonna keep that nice, smooth, bluesy swing rhythm, and then on top of that, we're gonna solo on top, which is really characteristic of blues music. Like you're sitting at the bar, jamming with your buddy, trying to please the crowd. Important points of blues are less is more. Use those bends, and really put your soul into it.
Classical guitar is often meant to be a solo instrument, usually not accompanied by too much else. So it tends to be a bit more complicated a lot of the time. You're rarely strumming out full chords, but you can still follow a chord progression like I'm doing here and do some picking on the individual notes of the chords. To get the feeling, you often want to think of something that you'd be playing on a piano. We're rarely going to be using our pick. Usually finger style is the go-to of choice for classical music. And key points are here. Technical accuracy is really important. You want to really make sure your timing's impeccable. You're hitting all the notes very smooth and clearly, and that's what's really going to give it that characteristic classical sound. And there you have it. There are some tips and tricks that you can use right now to play in your favorite styles of music using the chords you already know. It really doesn't take much, so try this out on your own and see what you can come up with. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my new uploads. And if you're looking for a more step-by-step -step approach to learning guitar with direct feedback from myself and my team, then you can check out my Mastering the Guitar program in the description below this video. I'll see you soon.